Tyler Erzberger here of ESPN Esports, and today we are here to talk about the demise and the fall of Cloud9, who started 2-6 and six in the... Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, they're in the playoffs again? Wait, they might take a, fir a, a first round bye? Oh, okay. So, yeah, the, the, the rumors of C9's demise were greatly exaggerated. One of the greatest teams in NA history who has made every world championship started out the season slow. The summer split looked like it was the last one for the team. Oh, they were calling for heads. They were calling for firings all across the board. Jack Entian should have been fired. Oh, they should have taken out Reaper. The team was over. They were 2-6. and six. They were an embarrassment of the league. Then they started winning. And Seth kept on winning. And kept on winning. And their weird roster moves actually worked. Blabber who came from scouting grounds just seven months. He was in high school just a few months ago. He he prolonged his pro career to finish high school, finished high school, came straight into the LCS stage. Everything has just clicked at the right time with this team, especially with the bomb lane. Sneaky, the quintessential AD carry of the North American region, has again and again proven himself at the world stage. He was benched for the first time in his career coming into the season. Everything looked lost. Smoothie got traded to Echo Fox. Sven Skirin got benched. Licorice holding his own in the top lane, but no one there was there to help them. But finally, now that Jensen, Sneaky, Zazel, a standout rookie in the support role, Blabber and Licorice are actually rolling together, this team looks unstoppable. They might very well just be the best team in North America. When we go to Worlds, Cloud9 might be the best hope we have to make the quarterfinals and beyond. And Beyond all that, we have to look at the coaching of Reaper because when it comes to the lineup of C9, it's just not a stagnant five. They have Golden Glue and Svenskarin that they bring in when they need a little bit more spice. Against Team Liquid, they were brought in after Blabber and Jensen rolled through the competition. People thought, what? What's going on? Team Liquid's the best team in the league. You need to beat them if you want to make the playoffs. Well, what did they do? Golden Glue and Svenskirin crushed Pole Belter. They crushed Xmithy and they crushed the, the reigning North American champion in a blowout above all blowout. So going into the final weekend, 100 Thieves, FlyQuest, Cloud9 has your number. They're ready to roll through into a first round bye. And for all their other teams in the league, get ready. Cloud9 is back and they want the championship.